21, less than 20 years entitled Average. But I saw this picture and I thought, I want to I wanna highlight that, that you all are above average. You're, you're smart kids and I'm doing well in math. And, um, I just want you to know that you never have to settle for just being average because you're above average people. But now let's take this lesson and find out how we find average of numbers. Alright, I found this little cartoon and um, it, it tells you the process but it's a little humorous at the same time. It, the teacher is telling his student to add the numbers, divide by how many numbers you've added, and there you have it. The average amount of minutes you sleep in class each day. So you can find an average of anything as long as you have um, the numbers. So here's the, the actual formula, average equals the sum of the numbers divided by the number of add-ins, add-ins are the numbers, the um, numbers that are being added together. So then you take, um, if 30 was the sum of all the add-ins, and if there were 6 numbers that you added to get 30, then the average of that would be 5. All right, here's another example. If you add the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 6, when you add them, you get 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 6 is 12. Well, we had four add-ins, or numbers that we added. The sum of those was 12, and if we divide by the number of numbers, which was 4, we get an average of 3. Okay, let's go to our practice problems. Alright, so A says find the average of 74.2, 87.3, and 106.5. You'll notice we have 1, 2, 3. So we're going to add these numbers together and then we will divide that total um, by 3. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the largest one, 1, 0, 6.5. go to the next one. Alright, now this is a little different and sometimes people have a hard time with this, but if you th just think of working backwards um, instead of adding the numbers and then dividing, here you've got, the, they've given you what the average of four numbers is. So the average, the answer, would have been 100.1. They also tell us that three of the numbers are 24.2, 13.5, and 48.7. But what they're asking us to find is the fourth number. So we're going to have to reverse our process. If to find the average of four, we added four numbers and then divided by four to get 100.1, then if we 
reverse that and we say 100.1 times four numbers would give us a sum of 400.4. So if that were the sum, that I had to divide by 4. If I add the 3 that I have, which are 48.7, 13.5, and 24.2, so I'm going to iPad for his only. Alright, so 5 and 2 is 7, plus 7 is 14. 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 and 4 is 16, 4, 5, 6, and 8. 86.4 is the total of the three numbers that I have. So if I subtract that, 86.4, I'm going to get... Now, if you're unsure of yourself, you can always go back and say, all right, 314 plus these three <coughs> should give me a total of 400.4. And if I divide 400.4 by 4, I should get an average of 100.1. Okay, so don't let these trip you up. But I would definitely have this process done in my notebook if I were you. I want to find the average cost per item, and I know that I have a total of four items. Okay, so I'm going to add. 